Okay, so I'm out here at a job today in Rydalmere for a customer who's with MBN fibre to the curb. I mean fibre to the node, sorry. Now, I said they've had an MBN contractor out here yesterday or the day before and he's told them there's a bridge tap on the line and that is the problem. I do have a feeling that this is a leading cable issue. So, I'm under the house now. You can see here the blue white pair here. That's my tone coming from the socket and it's jumping onto this yellow cable here, okay? And that is just using that single pair. That second pair is not connected to anything. Right. Okay, I'm getting the tone just on this main one. So that is on this yellow pair. And then we'll follow that, see where that goes. Okay, so that's the leading cable. That tone is coming from my socket. Okay, so I found the first bridge tap here. All right, so that's this is the yellow cable here that it's coming in on. And you can see it's branching off to another yellow cable and then it's got the blue cable. So that cat cable, I'm assuming, is going to the socket where I have my um, doobie lacquer plugged in, my F-set. So we'll just trace. Oh, so one of these is going, they've got a granny flat down the back. All right, so one of these cables um, is going to a granny flat. So I'm assuming, because there was only that one coming in off that leading cable, that that should, by right, this should be on, the only uh, thing connected for this house. So we'll go follow that other cable, see where that actually goes. Okay, so this is the cable here, and then it's going up into the socket where I have my F-set. All right, so that's the cable there. So there is, I don't know what this uh, MBN tech has done here, or if he did this or somebody else has done it, but so let me come back here. I have cut here and then put a joint on so maybe he's doing some testing but uh it doesn't look like an MBN tech these scotchies are not the ones that they're currently using so he's probably just some contractor okay so basically now um, i'm back at the house again and pulling in a piece of two pair gel filled cable now the MBN tech when he came here, <laughs> he obviously knew there was a bridge tap and said that he can't do it. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't think it is. I know now when they do their installations, they're supposed to remove bridge taps from the services. But what he's done is he's just left a piece of leading cable here for the customer upstairs. And he said, oh, you know, you can use this to remove the <laughs> bridge tap. So I just left them with some cable and was like, adios. <laughs> Yeah, great service, eh? So, um, so, so I'm going to cut this out now um, and use the piece of leading cable that the MBN guys left. And I'm going to run that back to um, where the Cat 5 goes up to the socket. Now, I've taken the socket off inside the house and it's running through a bunch of timbers. Um, so to try and tie a new cable on and pull it through, there's a good chance that it will break off trying to get through these timbers because there's other cables going through there with them by the look of it. So the cable, I've tested it, it's going to be uh, tested, as long as it tests fine, then I'm going to just use, I'm just going to take a cable from this leading cable to the tail I'm going to leave at the other end where it just goes up into the socket. Um, otherwise, yeah, um, if the customer wants, I could put a skirting socket on, but they actually don't want to have a skirting socket on there. So. Let's, uh, let's do this part. Okay, so just for the customers, so they know, the red-black pair is connected to this other cable here. Now, I would say that that is the second pair going down to the granny flat on this separate cable. Okay, so there is two cables coming in the starter pipe from the pit. Um, they're both stuck in the conduit and not going anywhere, but I would say 
that this pair here is the second pair feeding the granny flat with a second separate service, okay? So this is just for reference for my customer. And also for reference, this is that cheap, crappy two pair cable that I've seen a few times. I think they must order it and get it from overseas or something. Um, I don't know if this is Australian standard stuff. The gel is more like, it's not like that white grease. Okay, so I've done my scotches here on this piece of uh, two pair. And now we will go over to the other end and then crimp it onto the piece going up. Um, before I do that, I will run a test on the cable going up to the socket. Okay, so now I have got my new scotches on. I connected it to a piece of two pair underground leading cable to the tail that's going up to the socket. All right, so we get a, a nice clear tone on that now. Um, that's testing OK, so there's no insulation resistance or anything like that. Um, and that's it. So now they've got the bridge tap removed. So if there is a problem with the leading cable, now it'll show its face. Okay, so I've replaced the socket here. Um, put on a brand new Clipsal socket. Um, the old one was an um, old... Um, uh, that's one of these ones here. A bit more old school. So I've replaced it with a brand new Cadex socket. Mm -hmm. Now I've plugged it in and we're just going to wait for the FTTC device to connect to the DPU in the street and then once that's done that's pretty much our job done here. Mm -hmm. Okay so after hooking it up at the DPU I wasn't really getting, I wasn't sinking. So I've popped back under to have a look so now you can hear a nice clear tone on that one and then no tone on that one and that is connected directly to the leading cable all right so that's the leading cable going back out to the street i'm connected to the blue white and then they've got their granny flat on the red black going out to the granny flat all right so if i chop this off now and I get a nice clear tone on the blue white on my side going back so this is the side going back to the socket this one here and that's the side the tones on if that comes clear on both sides that means there's a problem on that leading cable okay going out to the street okay so I've just separated that now nice clear tone nice clear tone Problems on this leading cable MBN, right? And you haven't got a second pair because the other pair is being used for the um, runny flat. So just as I suspected from the start, there is an issue on this leading cable. Okay. Okay. So now I've hooked it back up again, and you can see no tone on that one, and my tone on that one. So that basically means there's an open or a short or something on this leading cable going back out to the street. Now I'll take you out, give you a quick look in the pit so you can actually see what I'm talking about because it's pretty dodgy. Okay, so that's it. Look at that. So he's obviously tried to twist a few things around. So he's known it's a leading cable. He just didn't want to have to deal with it. Get the pretty crappy signal coming in. So I would say that's that leading cable. Now it's not our job to, you know, do their job. <laughs> so yeah, this guy should have to come back, and they're gonna have to put in a new cable. There is a second one here. All right. So I don't know if he's tested that or. Whatever, but that's both, they're both going on the same starter pipe. So, yeah, can be an issue. Hey guys, it's uh, Jason here from Securicom. So, if you're in need of some internet help, 
um, whether that is uh, getting a fault fixed up like a bridge tap or you have some sort of an issue on your MBN service or maybe you need to have some new cabling and sockets installed um, we provide a range of services to help you out there'll be some links underneath this video um, and you can click on those links and they'll take you through to our website where you can book my service all right thank you very much goodbye